Welcome back to The Witcher 3 with the Rude Man. And uh, we just turned in our trophy griffin head. Now, you might wonder why we still have it tied to our horse. It's tied to our horse because it's a trophy. So, if we look in our inventory at our horse's area over here, uh, we can put saddlebags, horse blinders, saddles, and trophies. So, that's the only trophy we have right at the moment. But as you notice, that trophy, as long as I have it attached to my horse, gives me 10% chance to dismember when I'm in a battle. Uh, so each trophy has a different effect. At any rate, let's continue on with our story. A lilac and gooseberries, we need to prepare to leave White Orchard with Vesemir. Uh, secondary quest is uh, on Death's Bed. We have the gal Lena that was uh, a victim of the Griffin attack and we said we'd bring back some Swallow for her. And let's see what else we might have. Um, we've got the Devil by the Whale. We have the other uh, fellow's daughter that uh, got some bad water and uh, seems to be very ill and needs fresh water so we've got a couple of things to do before we actually leave the area so let's uh, change our quest line and let's see let's go give Lena her potion hopefully this uh, potion doesn't harm her any uh, it, it, hopefully it cures her. She's dying. But it's a witcher potion. And witcher potions run, run. have different effects on actual humans. So... Can't. Whoa! Oh, come on. How am I going to get around? Let's go! I've done it before. Okay, get a head start here. There we go. Blow on and I'd faint. Heard of the fly head today? Now, seeing the last time we came right about here, we needed to stop because it was nighttime. <laughs> it looks like it's coming on nighttime again. So, I'm going to do the same thing I did the last time, not hit a tree. I didn't do that the last time. Come on, Roach. I tell you what, this, this is very difficult for me because I don't use controllers very well. My um, ah, hey. My hands and fingers are not very flexible and using a um, a controller is not easy for me faster so I'm going to meditate by this fire and we'll spend the night if you will All right, Roach, ready to hit the road again? Well, I guess, well, I should do the right thing and not leave the fire going unattended. One of my Witcher skills, igniting things. Slow now, whoa. Oh, it's asking me to brew one. I already did, though. What? Did I not brew it? Oh, you know what? I don't think I did. I think I bought the stuff and didn't actually brew it. Uh, what am I missing? I cannot do that now. Really? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think I have to brew while I'm meditating. Yes? No?
Alright, here we go. We need to brew this. Alright. Yeah. It wouldn't let me do it on horseback was the problem, so... Okay, now we can go back to the herbalist. Step aside, freak. Call me. Call me a freak. What in the world? What? Are they afraid of what I've got on my horse? Let's go. That's crazy. Good lord. What was that? A yawn? Where Whoa. are they going? Okay, I'm going the right way. There's a there's a road here. Slow now. All right. Hopefully, Lena will be able to survive from taking this. Yes. Okay, I've got the uh, I've got the uh, potion. Got a potion for Lena. Swallow. Bear sign of spring. Symbol of rebirth. Fitting as names go. We'll see. Like I said, could harm her. Deeply. Works on me immediately. But I have a faster metabolism. Effects won't appear in her case for a few days. Why'd you choose this in the end? Decided it was better than doing nothing. I like you, Witcher. Here. A small gift. For giving a damn. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That makes me, uh, that makes me feel better. Because it was a difficult decision. It was a difficult decision. All right, now let's go see if we can find this other abandoned village and see what's going on there. Hey, yeah. Uh, by the way, the swallow is um, a potion that is uh, quite readily used by witchers. Come on. So I'll be brewing lots of that. Of sweat and blood, a veil hangs between the world men see and the one they cannot. This veil blocks the dead from the view of the living, and the living from the view of the dead. Some mages can break through this veil and communicate with the dead, or else summon them to the world of the sun for short periods of time. This is the art known as necromancy. The dead can also break through the veil and enter the world of the living on their own. Yet unlike the necromancers, in doing so, they are not driven by reason and will, but by thoughtless, irrational need. This need arises from powerful emotions such as regret, longing, or wrath. Very often, these emotions gain their power of being invested in a material object by the dead individual while he or she still knew life. The objects most frequently so endowed, wedding rings, favorite toys, or the instrument used for the crime which sent the returned individual to the other world in the first place. What was that? What was that? What was that? Oh, I got a, I got a formula for that. That must have been what uh, the herbalist gave me, was that book. And interestingly enough, I've got a spirit to uh, find in the well. Bye-bye, Hellraiser. Now, I'm actually playing two games right now. I'm playing The Witcher, but I'm also playing Red Dead Redemption. And I'm having a little bit of trouble with the horse issue because there's go, a lot go. of horse riding in both games, and they don't. The, 
the mechanics are different. The horse riding mechanics are different. All right, so hang on. I want to take a look at the information given to me by that book and see if it relates to anything I'm trying to do right at the moment. Specters. Okay, we have night wraiths. Now, if you remember the description that the father gave me, it, it, it looks a little like these wraiths. So I'm not quite sure what we're contending with here. But as you can see, they're vulnerable to certain things. Uh, hmm. Okay, so night rates exude this immense sadness, this helpless wrath. I fear them, same as anyone. But most of all, I feel sorry for them. Okay, there's quite a bit to know here, I think. Okay, despite what is commonly thought, peasants do not interrupt their labors at midday to get out of the sun. They do so to avoid noon wraiths. So, this is a daytime wraith. Plague Maiden. Patients seem to have hallucinations of a woman covered in scabs and boils, with rats scurrying around all around her. These ravings subsided after administration of Enbane and Poppy Extract. Okay, so I don't know which one we're going to deal with here. So I'm not quite sure. But it does say that they're weak to uh, Erden. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. And then I don't think I have a potion... Do I have any oils? I've got some potions, but I have no oils. The oils you use to put on your uh, sword that will give you uh, power over certain things. All right, let's go investigate this village. There's the well that the man the spoke of. This well, strange. No sign of a ghost. Maybe it only shows at a certain time of day. Do I hear a cuckoo bird? Bodies dried to a crisp. Signs of burns. Burns. That's interesting. Grass around the well scorched. All signs point to a noon wraith. Okay. A noon wraith. So now we know what he thinks it is. Devil by the Well. The residents of White Orchard had suffered more than their fair share of, of misfortunes. Passing armies had, had trampled their spring planting, a griffin had been abducting their livestock, and the rotten icing on this painful cake, a noon wraith, haunted a nearby well. No wonder the locals called this final evil a devil. The witcher could sense something bound her to this place, and that in order to send her off into the ethered realms, he would first need to learn her secret. Once that was done, he would have to prepare for battle, and a noon wraith is a demanding opponent. She can disorient her victim by blinding him and creating mere images of herself. These copies slowly suck their victim's life energy, while their mistress remains untouchable. In order to defeat her, the Witcher could not rely on his silver sword alone. The Erden sign could also be would also be needed to trap her and force her to take on material form. Okay, so she's a noon wraith, is what they're saying. Noon wraiths are also known to haunt rural areas and usually stay the, near the place of their death. They prey on peasants working in the fields or children playing be, uh, nearby. Something's tied the Noon Wraith to this place. An object. Something she needs before she'll leave this world. 
All right, let's see if there's anything else we can find. Noonwraith won't stray too far from the well. Noonwraith won't stray too far from the well. Let's see if we can find anything in these cabins. Something over here. A man, stabbed with a knife, died on the spot. Animals fed on his body, picked his skeleton clean. More blood stains over there, but it's not his blood. Interesting. A journal might be useful. 27, 1250, it's happened. Volker sent a petition of our grievance against the Lord to the court at Vizima. Listen all the harm he's done. How he killed Johan for not taking off his cap quick enough. How he trampled our fields when drunk and with nary a thought of repayment. How he barged in during Peter's wedding and demanded his right of the first night. Now we finally got what he be we begged for medley for in our prayers for so long. The judge recognized our grievances and waived all, all our bonds and duties to the Lord. We can finally strike out on our own. At least we can live as free men. The first day of our freedom. Hovel's not much of a village yet, but to my mind it's better than the most fantastic place. Volker fumed our home with hazelwood and smoke to drive out evil buried a Martin under the gate to make sure no thieves cross our threshold. And then he gave me a bracelet, loveliest I've ever seen. Mother said it's foolish to spend so much on a bauble when we haven't plows nor hoes that we ought to return it and to the merchant. Over my dead body, I'll never take it off. It'll always be there to remind me of Volker. Oh, how happy we were that day. 23, 4, 12, 50. They say the Lord is coming to see us, that he wants to make a deal to beg us to return to the village. They say he's calmed since his son died, that he's not as quick to anger about small slights. Well, we'll see. One way or another, I've no intention to move one inch from here. That bracelet might be what ties the woman's spirit to this place. Hmm interesting so we may be looking for a bracelet blood stains barely visible someone was dragged this way someone who was still alive palm prints in blood Small hands, a woman's. Someone dragged her out. She was wounded, fought for her life. No body in sight, but might still find some tracks. Under the right conditions, bloodstains can remain visible for decades. Hmm. Another print by the well. No, no. Well, it looks like that's all the clues in here. But he sees something by the well. Oh, here we go. Blood stains. Almost faded. But the line's taut. Something's not right. A corpse, hanged by the bucket rope. Woman the journal belonged to must be. Great. Poor woman. Wide pelvis, small jaw. A woman. Around thirty, judging by the teeth. Left arms missing. Need to cremate the remains. Gotta find the object that binds her to this place before I do, though. Was she wearing the bracelet from her husband? Might be why her arm fell off. 
Gotta jump down there. Oh, great. Hope I don't break my legs. Well, I hope there's water down the bottom. That would help. Alright, let's see what we can find. Is there anything down here? There's something. There's her arm. That's the bracelet. All right, now we gotta find a way out of here. Is there something else down there? Dwarven spirit, that's what we needed to make that potion. We can find a way out of here. Lucky not to come up empty handed. A bracelet with an inscription To Claire from Volker. Bracelet must have belonged to the woman in the well. Lovely craftsmanship, but I'll have to burn it with the body to get rid of the noon wraith for good. Better do it near the well. Alright. See if we can find a way out of here. didn't lead me all the way out so I gotta go back under and out this way Let's head back to the village. Need to prepare for this fight. Brew some wraith oil. Drink some potions. Wraith oil? Do we have the fixings for that? It doesn't look like it. I can make some uh, some necrophage oil. That might be good enough. Spectre oil. Let's do that. And we already have some swallow, I think. Okay, I don't know if that's going to work. Uh, or not, but let's uh, let's try it. Okay, we're gonna take this oil, put it on our s sword, and then let's take the uh, swallow. I had three. I used one on Lena. And let's put the swallow here, and then let's let's move. What is that? water let's move the water up there there we go all right let's head back to the village shouldn't be that far away I didn't swim that far well he's expecting a battle
All right, so let's uh, burn the body. And the bracelet. Igni. Trophy from the Noon Raid. All right. Well, I guess our job is done here. I didn't check the other little cabins. Take a look, see if there's anything. Might be some loot. Quite a bit of stuff, actually. stuck back here. A smoking pipe. Water. I can always use water. I'm trying not to get stuck in here. Alright, there was a few things over here. God, there's rabbits everywhere. Let's get these few things. And then uh, over here. There's really no point in looking at the loot when you get it. It's just as easy just to grab it and run. There may be some decent things in there. They may not be. Most of the time it's, it's either food or junk or, um, you know, that you can sell. Or sometimes it's old swords and axes and things like that. Mostly just st stuff for sale. All right. Let's grab Roach and go back and tell the guy that uh, he can get water for his daughter. Hopefully it'll help her. Come on, Roach. Slow now. Whoa. Job done. The well was haunted by the ghost of a woman who was killed there. I drove it away. I just hope every unburied wretch don't start haunting us. Or well, that battlefield's gonna cause us a heap of trouble. If they do, you know who to contact. Meanwhile, Claire, Volker, Names ring a bell? I don't know him. Though I did hear our herbalist Tamira mention a Claire once. Same one, maybe? Your reward, Master Witcher. The gold I'd hid away for Mandy's dowry. Without you, she'd never have lived to wed. Now, let's hope for it, at least. I'm not taking this. Save it for your daughter. At this point, doubt I'll ever marry. You keep the coin for Mandy, her wedding. Raise a toast to my health then. Thank you, Master Witcher. Them's warm words, you've a good heart. But I can't let you go empty-handed. Take this, at least. Come on. Cool, what did I get? An amethyst. Thank you.
All right. So evidently the um, evidently the herbalist knew that uh, woman that got killed. Let's go chat with her before we see Vesemir. There she is right up there. All right. Where's uh, Roach? Come here, buddy. Faster. All right, now let's just take a look. I get turned around real easy. Okay, so definitely I'm going the wrong way. I need to go this way. There's something there. What's this? I keep getting sidetracked. Imagine that. Anyone home? Hello? Lost your key, ma'am? No. Not me key, me pan. Your pan? It's always sat there empty, this hut. That is, till the night afore the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like to his own. Standing at my window, peering at the goings on. He must have heard me, cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan for protection, see? He just asks all polite. Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. Personal bubble here. He sees he ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. Baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Um. Okay, what happened then? Interesting. What happened then? Before dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come morn, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse. And that were all I saw of him, and me pan. Twere old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm afeard to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Me thinks the other fellow. Well. That he's lying there. Yeah, you're probably right. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. Alright, can I break it down, or what's the deal here? Okay. Here's how a witcher does it. All right, let's look around. There's a guy laying in the back there. A corpse explains the stench. Cracked monocle. Interesting. What's that, dearie? Nothing, nothing. A cracked monocle. His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going bar me. Well, you probably are. I'm just keeping myself company. Documents. Almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. Found the pan, have you? Give me a minute. Don't rush me. Ah, uh, the priceless frying pan. Hmm, <laughs> scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. 
Oh, that's why he was asking her about coal and... About the pan, have you? He was asking her about coal and uh, berries to make uh, ink. And she didn't have any. Alright, I'm coming, old marm. Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this one if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents, too. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilf Guardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here, Sonny. For the road. What'd I get? What'd I get? Some, some cookies? Fry up a nice white fish for some. Experience points? Did I get a cookie or something? Baked apples. Mmm, thank you. And some bread. And apple juice. Wow, she loaded me up. Oh, God. No wonder Roach took off. You don't like dogs, Roach? All right. Now, where's the uh, where's the gal's cabin that we're heading for? We passed it already, did we? Um, no. Okay, it's off this way. Come on, don't be upset. Is he upset because I have my sword out? Probably. Take it easy. There's your cabin. <clears throat> I can't remember her name. Oh, Tamira. Hey, Lena's still moving. Yes. Ever know a woman named Claire? Listen, ever heard of a woman named Claire? Lived around here? Heard of her? A mild way to put it. Claire was a friend. The only person dear to me in all of White Orchard. Until her husband, Volker, quarreled with the Lord of the Manor. He then gathered the family, moved out into the woods to start a new settlement. The Lord and his retinue rode there to convince them to return. They were to be civil. No forcing, no bloodshed. But, you saw. Word is Claire said something about the Lord's son, Florian. Something that made the Lord furious. But who knows the truth? Lots of misfortune for such a small village. Tis so in every village. Even the smallest. You need only ask. But let's not end on a teary note. Here, a bit of solace. What'd I get this time? Oh, she gave me some money. I didn't need that. Saltpeter. Might need that, though. Barbicane fruit. Hellbore petals. Whatever that is. Cortinaris. Now, there's stuff you can loot around here, but I don't steal. I mean, this obviously belongs to the uh, to the woman inside. i Hellraiser. Move it! All right, time to go see Vesemir. Giddy up. Think those plums are wreaking havoc on me. Well, quit eating them. How many plums did she eat? 
I guess uh, get back out to your field and make some fertilizer. Come on. It's Durban now. D E R B A N. He's calling me a freak. Hey, yeah. My granny told me about the Smith boy. Lad went missing one day, so folk nabbed a witch that was hunting him. He started poking him, asking him. He started twisting and squirming. Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so. Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Oh, great. It's time to go. Time we were on our way. Mm hmm. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it. Just this once. Well, you know, that's not going to go well. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down to hang a golden sun there now. I cannot show Temerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fund of the Imperials. You Nilfgaard's whore. Well, that's not appropriate. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit! They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog, said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition, that they don't fear the wrath of the gods, and you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let go! Into the birth, and you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath! You don't oh. fear it, you cunt! Oh. Oh. Jeez. Let me be! Good lord. Oh, here we go. Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You alright? They say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What'd the Emperor promise you freaks? Your own land? Like he did the elves once? Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. Uh, I beg to differ. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. Don't get out! Uh, 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 It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! Could've cut her head off, too. She's the one who started it all. See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. <laughs> so much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. What was, what was we supposed to do? 